since I have it here, I uh, went ahead and removed the rear service panel for the machine so I could have a quick look at the underside of everything. And oh boy, look at all that. There's, there is the classic old school belt drive wig wag assembly right there in all its glory. <laughs> um, cam bars, plungers, solenoids, all, all the good stuffs, all the fixins, and your belt drive transmission, of course, and the belt itself feels, feels like it's pretty good, and it doesn't look like it's terribly worn out. It probably, I'd be willing to bet, is probably the original belt. And other than, of course, some filth and, you know, like the transmission needs wiped down, vacuumed, whatever. The motor needs wiped down, vacuumed, all that. The base plate for the tub, um, you know, just on the surface, other than that, I am... I mean, I can't speak too soon, you know, before I have, if, unless I have to tear in too, too far to it. Um, I don't know if that is metal up there, in which case that would be rust, but looks like it might also just be, um, like cork materials or like compressed wood material of some sort. Um, otherwise, though, as I was saying, everything under here and like, you know, the inside of the cabinet here, it's just very minimal rust. Here's the, uh, here's the off-balance sensor switch, too, by the way. It's right on the side there, as you can see. And this is the trigger lever for it that gets pressed. Um... So it's, yeah, and it, it'll buzz very loudly if it goes out of balance and stop the machine. So that's another nifty, hand, nifty old school feature that uh, you don't see on machines today. Um, by the way, I also forgot to mention too, I will need to get a new drain hose for it as well. Um, the screens don't look too terribly um, in bad shape. They're not like clog completely. I will probably have to vacuum a little bit of this out when I get to hooking it up eventually here to do a water test. There's the back of the control panel as well for any of you interested. But yeah, um, and all this stuff is very, uh, in its own way, it's, you know, it's all, it all works in such a brilliant, um, marvelous way to wash your clothes like, pff, like nobody's business. There's the, uh, back there too, I don't know if you can see that, there's the water pump, um, which also appears to be in decent shape. It's the regular, uh, two-port pump, there's the underside of it as well, um, so... And I've, interest, incidentally enough, I've actually seen plenty of replacement water pumps for these machines on eBay. So that's a good sign right there. There's the um, basket drive brake, drum brake, and the yoke for it as well. Um, all that good stuff. The main drive pulley with the clutch system and, yeah, all that good stuff. And then once again, there's a good shot of the wigwag as a whole. So I am so excited to be able to, to finally get this to uh, hopefully eventually get this run in. Let's see back there. I'm not sure what that is. That looks like it might have a little bit of rust on there. Um, but I can't really get to focus. Yeah, it looks like it's not happening. Anyway, so it's otherwise in pretty decent shape. Uh, it's just the the drain outlet coupler, I guess, is what that was. So, uh, hose clamp for it. 
But otherwise, and like the base plate itself, if you can tell, it appears to be also in really, really decent shape. And so, yeah, we'll see how this uh, how this runs. There's the water pressure, water level pressure um, dome, and one of the suspension rods right there. Um, drain hose, which also appears to be the original. Still feels pliable somewhat to some degree. It's probably it's probably stiffened up though over the ages. Um, and interestingly, this has this also had a uh, much like that '86 Kenmore I just sold, '60 series. This um, this had a ground wire right next to there that you would if you didn't have like a I guess if you didn't have a three prong outlet or whatever, and you had to use a cheater plug um, back in the day when this was sold new. Um, I guess they sold that as an as an option. So I'll just probably leave that on there for the sake of the originality of it. But yeah, very awesome stuff indeed. Info on that. Let's see that and then Turning it by hand, you can see the pulley moves. It feels like it moves pretty freely. And it looks like the water pump pulley is spinning freely as well as the main drive pulley. You can see the wigwag moved. I have no water hooked up to it, so I'm just going to set it to the spin cycle. And okay. <laughs> this is this is a first. I've never heard a belt drive run in person, so I need a moment to prepare. I got this drain hose or this uh hose from a vacuum that I stole which happened to be the right diameter to fit this outlet port and it's a very tight fit too um, so that should uh, keep any water from spilling onto the floor while I do this and then got my screwdriver here for the lid switch when we're ready so as soon as I pull this timer knob out though it's going to um, or it should anyway um, run the motor, but nothing should be happening because it should be in neutral. So as soon as I do that, you're going to hopefully hear the motor start. We'll see if it has a, the classic woo woo sound as it does that. And then we'll test it on the spin cycle and I'll stick that in and see what it does. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> here we go. Sounds a little rough, as I sort of would have expected. Holding um, the drain hose back here, kind of keep it from falling down. Okay, here we go on the spin cycle.
Awesome. Okay. Well, it runs anyways. <laughs> going to do that and see how it sounds when it breaks um, or and it shuts the motor off when it breaks seems to spin fine and then let's see I wondered if there was gonna ha if it was gonna have that um, winding down sound of the belt when it stopped, um, but it might it probably might do that better under a load um, washing like an actual load of clothes and stuff. But with that, it runs at the very least.